In 1901, sponge divers exploring near the Greek island of Antikythera stumbled upon a shipwreck. Among marble statues and amphorae, they pulled up a lump of corroded bronze that looked like scrap. For decades, it sat in a museum case, until x-rays in the 20th century revealed a hidden world. Gears, wheels, and delicate inscriptions, all sealed inside. This strange device was built around 100 BCE, and it's now known as the Antikythera Mechanism. Many call it the world's first computer. Turn its hand crank and bronze gears spin in precise ratios, predicting eclipses, lunar phases, even the exact dates of ancient games like the Olympics. Its builders used over 30 interlocking gears, some no bigger than a dime, crafted with accuracy rivaling modern watchmaking. One feature tracks the sorrow cycle, a two 23-month pattern of eclipses. Another models the moon's irregular orbit using a clever pin-and-slot gear system. Etched on its plates are instructions in ancient Greek, tiny text almost like a manual, guiding its user on how to read the sky. But here's the mystery. Was this the work of a single genius, or evidence of a lost tradition of advanced craftsmanship? Some scholars think it came from Rhodes, an island known for its schools of astronomy, and perhaps even from the circles of Archimedes himself. If that's true, then the mechanism was not a one-off wonder, but part of a forgotten lineage of ancient engineering. The ship carrying it sank in the first century BCE, freezing this device in time. But was it the only one? Or did entire workshops once produce these for wealthy patrons and scholars? Modern replicas prove it works flawlessly, but nothing else from that era comes close. The knowledge to build it seems to vanish after the shipwreck, leaving a technological gap of over a thousand years. So what happened? Was the know-how simply lost, destroyed in war or fire, or was it guarded by a select few who never passed it on? Today, half the mechanism is missing, leaving us with broken gears and unanswered questions. It reminds us that history isn't always a straight line of progress. Sometimes it's a puzzle with missing pieces. The Antikythera mechanism may not be magic, but its survival feels like a message from the deep, that human curiosity has always been reaching for the stars. And the biggest question remains, was this a lone miracle? Or just one survivor of many still waiting to be found at the bottom of the sea?